This question is from 2007 AP Physics B FRQ. Now these uh, sections are covered in AP Physics 2. And the question st states that you are asked to approximately determine the focal length of a convergent lens. Your teacher first asks you to estimate the focal length by using the distant tree visible through the laboratory window. Explain how you will estimate the focal length. To verify the value of the focal length, you are to measure several object distances as O, it would be the distance to the object, and image distances as I, using equipment that can be set up on a tabletop in the laboratory. So in order to figure out the focal length of an object, you have to focus that tree when you look through the, um, through the lens. So what you would have to do, like let's say you have a table, um, so here is the table. And here is the window. And right there, there is a tree. You would have to place your lens, the convergent lens, and a screen behind that lens. And when the rays are passing through the lens, you would find a window and a tree displaying in that picture. So this is where you have to adjust the, um, the lens position and the screen. And you need the screen to get a real image where the rays uh, meet to reflect the object uh, position from the other side of the lens. And when you do that, you have to find the position where the image is going to appear um, focused and not blurry um, on the screen. So for the second part, um, they are asking you to be, they're asking you to um, use the, in addition to the lens, which of the following equipment you would use uh, to collect the data. And they give you different options. Um, so after you already uh, used it with a tree, now in the lab, which of these um, equipments you will need to check your focal length with the measurements that you can make in the lab. So you, if you are in the lab and here is your table, so what information you might need? You might need the screen again. So you need the screen, you need the lens, um, maybe the holder for the lens. We're gonna look at the equipment that we ha we're given. And you need an object, a pencil or a candle. So you need some object in front of it. And you also need um, the meter stick to estimate the distance um, from the object to the lens and the distance from the lens to the image. So the choices we have is the candle. So we could use the candle. Um, the candle holder, we could use the candle holder, why not? Uh, the desk lamp, if you choose the candle, you um, don't need the desk lamp. Uh, you could choose the desk lamp if you want to be an object. Uh, plain mirror, we don't need the mirror. Uh, veneer clipper, um, and then meter stick, we need the meter stick, we need the, or the ruler. And then we need a lens holder, we need that one. We don't need the stopwatch, we need the screen and uh, diffracting grading. So I think that's all we need from the information that is given. And the ruler itself would not be long enough because the distances can be longer than a meter, so a meter stick would be probably better. For the next question in this FRQ, they ask on the tabletop below sketch, the setup used to obtain the data uh, labeling the lens distance SO, distance SI, and the equipment uh, checked in part B. Um, so you would have to do, let's do, let's do, let's redraw again wherever we just did. So we would have the screen. So here would be the screen. You would have the lens. 
the lens holder you would have the meter stick and you would have a candle and a candle holder and here would be your s to the object and here would be your s to the image so for the next section of the questions they have you are to determine the focal length using a linear graph uh, 1 over s of the image and uh, 1 over s to the object um, assume that you obtain the following data uh, for the object distances s o and s i provided in the table and then they also do the calculations for you so you have s um, 1 over s o and 1 over s i and now for d on the grid below so we have the um, the graph given you have to uh, plot the points in the least two in the last two columns of the table and best fit the line through the lenses through the, those points and then after that you have to calculate the focal length from uh, best line that you obtain from this graph um, i would probably pause it this video right now and try to graph your own graph using um, the last two columns what you're trying to do is um, to graph 1 over SI and 1 over SO. I'm going to plug it in, into the graph so I don't take your time for every single point. And, um, and then I'll have the line for you. So you can pause it and do it yourself as well. So I hope you paused it. And um, in my table, I have it in um, on the screen instead of having it on the um, here. I cannot fit it. So I have 1 over SO is 2.5 and 1 over SI is 0.91. So when S 1 over SO, uh, the bottom, the x-axis, 1 over SO is 2.5, I have almost 1 for um, 1 over SI, so somewhere here the point. For the next one, I have 1 over SO is 2 and the other one is... Uh, 1.3 so if that one is 1.5 here is 1.3 for the next one I have 1.7 on x-axis and 1.7 on y-axis so 1.7 and 1.7 somewhere right here for the next one is 1.2 and 2 1.2 and 2 so here is my 1.2 and 2. And then the last point is 0.83 and 2.4. 0 0.83 and 2.4. And so somewhere right here. If I draw the line through these points, I'm going to get something like this. You have to use the ruler to do that. I can use the slope to find um, the information for uh, the slope of this graph. So the first one was 2.5 and 0.91. And the next one was, last one was 0.83 and 2.6. So if I wanted to find the slope, it's the rise over the run which is very close to negative one. If I rewrite my equation in terms of slope intercept form, y is equal to mx plus v, the y intercept looks like it's gonna be around 3.3. My y is one over s i and slope is negative one and my x is one over s o if i move s i and s o to one side i will have one over s i plus one over s o 
is equal to 3.3 and we know the equation that uh, for the lens equation looks 1 over di plus 1 over do and equals to 1 over the focal point so my focal point 1 over the focal point is equal to 3.3 so the focal point is equal to 1 over 3.3 .3. and that will give me the focal point is equal to 0.3 meters so for the last part what we have to do is to calculate the focal length of the best fit line and we found that the focal point is 3.3 .3. And that will be it for this question from 2007 AP Physics B. Um, now it is AP Physics 2. Thank you for watching and I will see you hopefully in the next video.